Our group is called the Allure Theater Company, and my name is Nuna Karakhanian. And I'm Julian Jeremillo. The Allure Theater Company Overview. Our group would like to present a theater concept for the play A Midsummer Night Dream by William Shakespeare. We are seeking funding in order to produce a play based around this unique concept. It will be set in Vicksburg, Mississippi in the 1860s during the Civil War. The underlying complications of the war contribute to the dramatic and humorous confusion among four characters and their love. The social and political influence of the time period calls for a compelling storyline which is further dramatized by the unique theater concept. The problems surrounding the plot and era lead the story of love and comical elements between the four main characters, Hermia, Lysander, Helena, and Demetrius. Estimated amount of funds. The Alert Theater Company is seeking a $7,500,000 fund to produce the unique concept of the popular play. This estimated funding cost would cover the production. It would include antique props and furniture, detailed costumes that reflect the time period, a set of a bunker near the battleground that could be the woods in the original story, and various other elements that go into a production of this size. Time period. The setting was the 1860s in Vicksburg, Mississippi during the Civil War. There were political complications between the Confederates and the Union as well as some conflicting views. There were two films that are similar to our concept, those being The Last Confederate and Gone with the Wind. Both share a similar theme of love during the war. Central image. The central image of the play will be two people drifting off or running away together. This symbolizes the sacrifice the pair made for their love in the story when running away and hiding out in the woods. The red and blue balloons show the difference in their social and political values, which was another big part of the story. Main themes. The main themes of the production are love, social values, and freedom. The love between main characters Hermia and Lysander caused the plot to begin and lead the pair to run away with one another. The diversity in social values between Hermia and Lysander is what allows them to be so strong together. Hermia longs to be free with Lysander who she loves. This also reflects the freedom sought after by slaves during the Civil War era. The freedom Hermia is chasing mirrors the freedom desired during the war. Color palette. The colors we will use for this production include royal blue, red, white, silver, and black. The red and blue colors not only symbolize the nation, but also the Confederate and Union opposing sides. Red is also a color used to reflect love, which is a big theme in the play. The silver tones show the sleek and sophisticated side of the characters and story. Black symbolizes class, which is another theme implanted in the storyline. However, the black color also shows the dark side of the plot and effects of war. These colors will be used in accessories and props, as well as some lighting and interior aspects of the production. Costume Inspiration Hermia's costume will consist of luxurious fabrics and accessories because of her high ranking. Hermia could also have red lipstick on to hint that her family is on the Confederate side. For Lysander's costume, it can reflect darker tones and be slightly less put together because of his mysterious charisma. Lysander could also have 
dark blue elements, such as dark blue pants or dark blue top. Elements added would be to hint that he is from the Union. Major props. There were a few important props in the theater concept to give you an idea on what to expect from the concept. The props are guns and holsters to indicate that there was a war going on, cigarettes and cigars because during the Civil War there was a lot of stress on the soldiers. The military caps were important so that you can tell the difference between the Confederates and the Union. Design plan. The main set of our production will be our concept of the woods, which is actually a hidden war bunker or hideout. This is where most of the action will occur, as well as the main dilemmas of the plot. The four main characters will have to sort out their confusion and complications with the fairies in this location. There will, there will be shelves filled with antique books on the left of the stage and a large study table center stage. There will also be dimly lit lights and just a few desk lamps. theater space. The production will be performed in a proscenium theater because of the fitting design and architecture. The deep stage allows more room for the furniture and props that will be used in the show. The audience also has a clear view of the stage and the scenes. The overall look and details of a proscenium theater are closely related to the design we hope to achieve for the production, as most of them have gold and red details and an antique look. Special elements. There can be a few special elements incorporated into the play to ensure an enjoyable production of this theater concept. These special elements can be lights in certain spots at certain times or different sounds during different times throughout the play. When focusing on characters from opposing sides of the dilemma, a red stage light could be lit behind the character to subliminally imply that they are from the Confederate side. Contrastingly, a blue light can be lit behind the character from the Union side when either character is first introduced into the plot. Another element could be the stage should also be dimly lit to reflect the complications and darkness of the era.